Jim Babel, superintendent of the Platteville School District. What I would like to do today is really speak about something that we started the school year off with, with a goal and the, the fruits that we're bearing because of it. Uh, one of the things we focused on this year was how can we better collaborate with our community in order to have a better school. At last week's city council meeting, they approved two very important things for our students going into next year. The first thing that they approved that, that is significant is a community resource officer. This, this position goes by many names, a liaison officer, a police school officer. However, what we are saying is that it is a community resource officer because this position is an integral bridge between our students and our community at large. So let's get into a little more detail about how this will look in our school. So here we have the community resource officer and in order to have a successful relationship, this position really is a triangle. And what most of us are familiar with is the law enforcement piece. So this person will be a trained police officer who's headquartered in our schools during the school year. And if something comes up that is under law enforcement, they're there to react very quickly and help the people through that crisis. The second piece is the engagement, and that's where that community piece comes into. Uh, what they want to do is engage with our students, with our staff, with our parents, with all members of our community to count on each other and build those relationships so when somebody is in trouble, they're, they're more comfortable when it comes time to seek the help of somebody in law enforcement. The third thing that that community resource officer does is education. We are a school, so this is a big piece. They will be able to make presentations in our, in our buildings with our staff. Maybe there's a new issue that they have information on that our staff need to be aware of. They can educate our students, our parents, our community members all over the place. This community resource officer is a very daunting position, but the more that we can build ties with that person, with all the different uh, civic services that we have, the more success we'll have. So that was the first thing that we had at that city council meeting. The second thing that I'd like to highlight is there is a lot of land that the city has said, we're having, uh, it isn't being developed right now. And there's a, there's a want at the high school level primarily to really ramp up our building and trades. So the city was kind enough to say, listen, here's a lot, you have a need for it, you may use this lot. So the city is providing that lot to the district and we are creating a building and trades program in which the culmination hopefully someday will be a home that our staff, our students put together with many ties in the community, put up that home and put it up for sale. But that's our goal. And for those of us who are into building and trades, every report that we get is that they are starving for our people to be interested in carpentry, in plumbing, in electrical work, in decorating. What a better way to have our students be engaged with the community. And when you're all finished, we have that project. So keep your eyes and ears out for that as far as how we begin to build that program. And thanks to the city, really, for strengthening the collaborative relationship that we're stressing here with that community resource officer and with our building trades program. So I hope you have a great day. By all means, enjoy.